welcome to another episode of Angel Explores Reacts this time for Red, White, and Royal Blue. I am Angel Lee and this is my cousin Chloe and of course my niece Elora. Oh my god guys it's already August 11 and we are finally watching Red, White, and Royal Blue. We have been waiting for this movie for a long long time and like it's been insane. I've been rereading the book like every single day and um, just very very excited. Uh, there has been clips that I've been sharing with them. I don't know if they watched. I feel like they didn't just so you know they'd be surprised but I've been so excited and everything just felt like it's gonna be amazing. So just uh, in case you do not know what the story of Red, White, and Royal Blue is, we will be following the story of Alex, the first son of the United States, of the President of the United States, and of course, Henry, the Prince of England, uh, wherein it's going to be like a love, um, enemies to lovers trope uh, kind of story. So, very, very excited. We are huge fans of Taylor, <laughs> uh, PZP, and of course, we know Nick uh, from Purple Heart. So, very, very excited, guys. Um, I'm not going to hold you any further. We're going to go through the discussions after this entire movie is over. So, guys, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my goodness! It was a storybook ceremony today inside Westminster Abbey, where the future King of England, Prince Philip, and to cheer the Prince's younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts, and their younger sister, Princess Beatrice, whom all the world adores. The wedding reception oh boasts a who's who of international guests, including <laughs> Alex Clare oh the charismatic son oh of the American God. president. Also representing Mr. Claremont Diaz is often referred to as the American Prince Henry. Oh no! Hey. Are you crazy? I want to see Buckingham Palace, don't you? <laughs> okay, you've been young and my young. It's the whole Prince Henry yeah. comparison thing. Mm. Unavoidable, you know. He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. Who's trained for this? Can you eat me alive? Aga pa. You're handsome, charming, and everyone loves you. Aga pa. The cake alone cost seventy-five thousand pounds. They practically had to break the doors down to get it inside. It's obscene. <laughs> Yes, a few times. He's very... <laughs> he's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. <laughs> I swear that he's not 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Killer wedding. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Ah, oh, yeah. Who doesn't love a little Mozart? 
Now, how many times oh. you can feel what this cake costs? Well, probably not as many as if you put your shoes on auction. Tell me something, man. Oh. Yes, Alex. Did your parents send you to snobbery school or does looking down natural to you? In your case, I would say it's rather than anything. We are the same hype, you say so, Alex. Great to see you. You too, your majesty. Actually, it's your royal highness, your majesty's reserved for the king. Oh, thank you for the etiquette lesson. <laughs> you know what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, dude, you do an incredible one. Really? I love hanging out with this guy. Oh, I would have to ask this. Because it's all anyone is talking about. Vicky. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> Vicky. What? Vicky. 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 I went to introduce myself to you and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then you turned to your equity and said, get me out of here. You couldn't have just been the conference. I know! But it was my first foray into the world as a public figure and I was really scared and you could have helped me and you didn't. I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. I think he heard different because of it. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> you were mad for so long. Threat <laughs> neutralized. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. Okay. Oh. Meanwhile, you're now elite and privileged and live in a palace. Exactly. And your mom is the epitome of authority. Technically, it's, you know, Although I say I'm not an authority. Don't tell her I was smoking. Sources of the secret. I'm going to pass. I don't know. Off the record, of course. Ask what I started with. Yeah, you're really good for speed. So, look at this. I didn't come to that. Esos pestañas. Oh. Esos pestañas. He has the most distracting eyelashes. Apple. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Do you want to be a movie? Dika, that's how we're going to text. That's going to be. Oh no. Never occurred to me that the royal family watches television. This is 
Well, we all share the same password. So this is next. Yeah, I just mean. Oh, he's named after Bowie. Wait, seriously? That's why I call it. Why just call him Bowie then? On the nose, don't you think? I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have it your way.
drunk. Fully oh drunk. my god, I Alex! I get the feeling he wants me back in that hot tub, but you know, he's a journalist. Right, yeah, closeted princes are much safer. Okay, well, do you two have any appearances coming up? Yeah. He's supposed to next week. Hello. Call me the time. Oh, come on. Hi, thank you. Obviously, the <laughs> press and all. I just can't afford you from not with me. 
No, that's it's not what I meant. Oh, it's <laughs> it's of your majesty. <laughs> it's your royal highness. I don't know how many times Oh my you. goodness! How would you even say casual and then just do this? There's this charity polo match in Windsor next month that my man Percy's foundation organizes. I um I don't know how to play polo. <laughs> In your horse, in my uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will. You'll be watching. In the <laughs> Great. That's. Did you tell Miguel Ramos that we had a plan? 
What? No. 16 tweets today. You really tweets too much. Mr. Claremont Diaz, a student at Georgetown Law, is playing an active role in the campaign's new Texas strategy. Who doesn't wear my campaign hat and new Texas strategy? Can you please tell me what it is? They need me to be realistic so they can be idealistic. If you don't understand that, then you have a lot to learn about politics, kid. You are no longer allowed to speak to the press. Yes, Madam President. I read your memo. Good work. We're sending you to Texas. And you'll love every minute of it. Mm -hmm. like what do you politics, though? When do I start? <laughs> Dear Henry, reading you is from the Lone Star State. It's hard to put into words how oh, exciting it is to be back here working together. The only thing that would make it even better is if you were here. Dear Alex, I can't think of a single way to start this email except to say you're incredible. But should I also tell you that when we're apart, everybody <gasps> comes back to me. Oh, oh no! I saw this! And it makes every bone in my body ache. Really? Seriously. I'm out here giving my all to my mother. I can't go smut, filling my inbox, corrupting my mind, and bulging my pants. Look, buddy. But in this case, both seem to apply. Oh, also, from all the photos you're posting, it really makes me want to visit. Yes, I was just thinking that I want you to come and see it one day. Oh, there's so much that I want to show you. I think you'd really like Austin Rose, especially. I want to see your mouth covered in barbecue sauce. And then I want to lick it off. Wait, don't they have napkins and tests? Nice. I wish I could. Alex, I understand what you're saying, and I believe what you're describing is called imposter syndrome. But I know that you are not an imposter. Tell me I'm reminded of one of my favorite quotes from Sense and Sensibility. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. And I think that what you're doing is amazing. Oh, God. Actually, what I'm <laughs> is that you're an asshole. Feel free to use that quote. Let us know, Chase Cabron. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh! Yeah, you're not going to have to go out there. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! You ever been on Grindr? <laughs> I'm not once unsuccessful. <laughs> hmm, do both. Mm hmm, hello. Ah. Have you ever had your heart broken? Oof. Wala pang alak, ah. The day my dad died. Hindi na gugulit ko mo. Claremont Diaz, it's almost seven. Is there someone in there? That's it. Oh my god. I? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Nah, Dora. What are you doing? Oh my Where god. Is Dora, no one is here. Oh, really? I didn't know we were the best. No one. Not your phone. <laughs> Don't deal. It's all true, Dora. We are even. What are you doing?
it make any difference if I told you not to see him again? No. Every time I see you, it takes another year off of my wife. All right. That was fast. Anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head <laughs> oh my God. You got me? Your Royal Highness. <laughs> Thank you. 
say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything. If this is over, I at least deserve to know why. My life is the crown, and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you, and want you, and still not want that life. I'm allowed. Right. He doesn't think you admire. So if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please. Don't beat me. It is the only way you're getting rid of me. Because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I found with you. And if you think otherwise, then you don't know me. So tell me to go, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. When I was a boy, how I like to come at night. When I was younger, I had a dream of taking somebody I loved here. And he loved it as much as I did. <laughs> we dance. I have missed all these statues. Just a dark pubescent fantasy.
Your emails to Alex have been hacked. Oh my god. They were posted overnight to Reddit. Mayor and the Sun ran them this morning. You can't do this. Orders from the palace, sir. No, I give the orders in this palace! These orders are from Buckingham Palace, sir. They may be speaking to Downing Street, but they're not speaking to us. The emails, which the mirror is calling the Waterloo Letters, details the romance of Prince Henry and Alex Claremont Diaz, the son of American <laughs> President Ellen <laughs> Claremont. As details emerge about Alex Claremont Diaz's relationship with the prince, I have to ask you, Miguel, why is I'm this anyone's business? Out. After all, Alex Claremont Diaz is a private citizen. He isn't at all a private citizen. Well, don't public figures have a right to privacy? They do, but these emails clearly show a pattern of obfuscation around this relationship, and it's my job to examine and contextualize them. I'm curious, Miguel. These emails were posted to Reddit at 11.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday night, and your first article was posted at 2.30 a.m. Monday morning. Because he was the one. Two and a half hours. I'm not sure where you're getting at. The truth is, every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms and on their own timeline. They also have the right to choose not to come out at all. The forced conformity of the closet cannot be answered with forced conformity and coming out of it. But there is another truth that's much simpler. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. I love his royal highness, Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stewart Fox. I hope one day we'll have the opportunity to be public about our relationship on our own terms. This is the thing when he's worried. Rose's eyebrow. That's the cutest thing. <laughs> God, I miss him. Oh my God. <laughs> I've got the first son in my office moving over the prince like a cow in labor, and I'm not going to get any work done until you put these two lovesick homosexuals <laughs> on the phone with one another. I don't care what any of those wrinkled white men at Buckingham Palace have to say about it, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Oh! Wait, what? I thought you might see my way as well. <laughs> you might be lousy at keeping secrets, kiddo, but I'm not. Sarah, I could kiss you. Touch me and die. <laughs> Hello? Oh! Alex. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are, are, are you alright? I'm angry, man. Are you okay? Just hold on until I get there. Oh, oh my god. Please. Please. I'll break the sound barrier for you. Oh God! <laughs> now it's not too late to get out of here and find the Maldives. <laughs> I'm as much a part of this family as anyone here, and I deserve to be happy. Henry, no one is suggesting that you don't deserve to be happy. But to throw away your future because of one mad infatuation. <clears throat> Alex and I love each other deeply. And we are committed to each other deeply. I have read your emails, Henry. All of them. <laughs> they leave no doubt that your love is genuine. Occasionally vulgar, <laughs> but genuine. However, your primary responsibility is not to your heart. And anything other than maintaining the traditional royal image is out of the question. Why is it out of the question? Mr. Claremont Diaz, let me disabuse you of the idea that your contribution to this conversation is in any way welcome. Why must we maintain a traditional royal image? Because, because, because the nation simply will not accept a prince who is homosexual. 
Yes, tell me what is it? Kensington Palace immediately and take the American with you. Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield, Birmingham, Cardiff, Edinburgh, and Liverpool. I will no longer be the prince of shame and of secrets. <laughs> Starting today, the world will know me for who I am, not who you want me to be. Oh. You, you can't go out there. Grandpa, tell them that they can't go out there. Henry, oh, my boy. Are you sure this is what you want? There is no turning back if you go out there now. I certainly have not. I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I think that's up for debate.
Do you think anyone noticed? I did not know that was gonna be the last part. I was gonna give a long dedication. Oh God! Oh my God! Okay. Whew. Oh my goodness. support LGBT. Sa labas na they thought na, you know, they were saying that nobody's gonna accept you, and then they. because it's talaga pag it comes to support ng LGBT. Yeah. Hindi siya kasi parang I know na siguro maraming tao na nagbasa ng letters and they thought like, oh my god, this is a scandal. But if you read kasi yung letters nila, it's it's a love letter. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are, you're gonna see yung progression ng relationship nila through it. Would you look at that as something else more than about love, right? So yung support na yun was dapat lang. Uh -huh. ba? Like, how dare we read their email? Diba? Supposedly, nga, hindi nabasa ng mga tao eh. Diba? And to be able to read them, um, invasion of privacy, and also, like, a privilege to see love story unfold. Diba? And, bakit mo yung i-criticize in such a bad way? Love is love. No matter what gender it is. So, um, I just have to point out, because I read the book so many times before this came out, and, um, Ipo point out ko lang yung napansin ko changes because they haven't read it. Actually, in the book, Alex has a sister, and yung parents nila. Um, the sister is June. Uh, she's not here. They had to uh, cut her off because she's afraid to sit two hours, right? You can you can only fit so much. Mm -hmm. Na makukuha mo yung buong story nila dalawa. And um, supposedly yung dad niya at saka yung mom niya are separated, mm -hmm. uh, divorced. And then there's another, uh, my stepdad na siya, who's very supportive as well. And then, um, this is si Nora and, and ano, June, yung sister niya, at si Nora, yung best friend niya rito. They're in a relationship as well. And then, uh, meron pang in-eliminate na two persons. Yung unang, uh, yung kanyang uh, bisexual awakening ni Alex, si Liam. Um, and then, yung isa pa, which is itong ginawa nilang Miguel, na na journalist supposedly there was another person si Rafael which is uh, parang friend ng dad niya na politician din and what he did was that instead of i, siya yung nagsabi kung si, na yung kabilang party kay Richards yung nag-leak yung emails and um, nag-run siya with Richards sa so sumama yung loob ni Alex about that and that was the night na pinuntahan siya ni Henry yung nakita, nakita silang dalawa and then nahuli kinabukasan um, they changed um, several things, but I mean, hindi naman ganun for me ha. As the as I read the book, it wasn't that much of a change in a, in a way. I mean, sure, I miss June. Um, yung ano trio, the the White House trio is very very important. But you have to take note then that uh, there are things that you have to change uh, to be able to tell the story na magpi-play on ka lang dun sa two characters which are more important, right? Kasi ano nangyayari, if there are a lot of characters in a in a story, you have to develop all of them and you can't really develop them in just a two hours, di ba? So, um, as much as I, I love, I love it. Para sa akin, this was a 10 out of 10 adaptation. Um, but you have to also point out that as much as they were the focus of this, I could have had more uh, more time. It feels hindi naman rush. Very, very fast-paced. Yun sa simula na parang hinahampas ng Pasca lang nung, nung, ano, nung mga scenes na ang bilis, ang bilis ng lahat nangyari. And um, if it could have been allowed for like three or four more hours, kung ginawa sa siguro series, we could have uh, you know, focused on a lot of things. Pero I really, really like the changes that they made, especially yung um, sa ano nila, yung phone call that they placed them in just a single bed. Because there was a description in the book wherein Alex was like, imagining Henry, uh, like, what would Henry look like 
why are they talking on the phone? Ayun, ginawa naman nila. Ginawa nila talaga na, you don't need to imagine it. You can see it. And meron din changes dun sa dialogues. Like, nagpalit yung dialogues ni Henry and Alex. It doesn't really affect it much because technically, it's still the two people talking. And then yung part na dun sa ring, hindi kasi niya yung supposedly susotin. Uh, kasi home ni Alex yung key, di ba? So, supposedly, ilalagay niya rin yun dun sa kwintas. And then, it's gonna be like two home side by side. But, feeling ko ang napaka-significant ng pagpalit na binigay ko sa'yo yung home ko and then you give me something, a part of you. So, ang ganda ng symbolism nun. Um, although, syempre, mamimiss mo yung, yung, yung the whole idea of two home side by side. And then, um, pinalitan din nila yung apelido ni, ano, apelido ni uh, Henry because they have to respect of course, yung totoong royals. And instead of, um, kasi dun sa libro, it was a queen, tapos meron siyang mom, tapos yung, well, ganun pa rin naman yung ginawa dito, dad is not, uh, not here anymore. And ano kasi si Henry, anak siya ng, di ba sinabi, su- uh, movie star, um, James Bond, yung dad niya. Tapos, um, they changed, I, from what I know, they changed it to respect the queen not knowing that when it was gonna come out, already king na yung right now. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they've, they've done all they, can, all they can about it. And, um, yun lang yung mga nakita kong significant changes that I feel like, ano, uh, naka-apekto. I, 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 hindi naman like big, big, ano, hindi naman siya malaki masyado. And, ang naano rin ako sa kanya is yung I wanted to hear you endearment and I got to hear it. So that was that was really good. I was expecting kasi baka sabi ni Alex ng baby ang supposed to be response to speak her. It's fine. I really really just wanted to hear that and it came out really really well. And um, of course, yung love scene nila, that was done so well. That was done so well. Kasi um, we watched Bridgerton and usually doon ipakikita talaga yung whole body moving and all you focus dun sa touches lang, like, alam mo naman yung nangyayari, you don't need to see a lot of it, or, but yung facial expressions and yung faces lang, sobrang ganda nun for me, kasi, uh, una ang linis, and mm-hmm. yung totoong beautiful talaga, kasi, ang intense eh, mm-hmm. pag pinanood dun, na parang, uh, okay. Sorry, na-intense sa sunod-sunod yung make-out nila. Yeah, ang galing, ang galing eh, pero hindi siya yung, Kasi, you would have watched something, tapos sure. medyo nakakailang, parang okay, wait lang. Sa kanila, it was always been, it's always been fun. Uh-huh. Every single experience. I mean, there were awkward moments, but like, for them, um, you really see that even if sinasabi nila na, okay, this is just casual, they're really having fun with each other. Yun yung gusto ko about them. And may banter pa rin, nag-aasaran pa rin sila. Pero nakikita mo na, yeah, they just really, really do love each other. That's the reason why they're like that. Napaka-comfortable eh, nila, di ba? So, natu- natuwa ko doon, nakita ko parang, oh my God, this was done uh, very beautifully. Ako, oh, naiyak ako doon sa ano, um, yung pinuntahan siya ni, ano, ni Alex. And, um, yung pakunta na sila sa museum. Um, it was different in the book. I mean, they still went to the museum, but it was not like that. Na para I'm gonna show you something. Um, nag decide na siya to to love Alex. Nasabi na niya before they went to that museum. And supposedly it was not Alex na maglalabas ng magpapatutok ng music. It was supposedly Henry. And um, I was expecting your song by Elton John, but I guess Shempre you have you know things that that, that works. Uh, with all of that, probably rights and stuff. But yung the place naman nila na can't help all your love is uh, By the way, Taylor, <laughs> I could not, I could not imagine you spoiling that. Um, cause we, I was watching Taylor TZP's um Instagram IG stories, and then he was like, uh, parang hindi ko, I'm not sure if it was Disneyland or he was in Universal or or some amusement park. And then there were fireworks at the end, and then the fireworks, uh, yeah, made background music, and the background music was that music. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, what's going on here? I've, 
feel like this is very, very important. But hindi ko siya pinansin, obviously, because I do not know and I was expecting your song is gonna be played. Tapos nung nag-play ako, parang, Taylor, what are you doing? Pero like, that was, that was great then na uh, replacement. I mean, yung song. Maganda rin yung song. <laughs> yeah. Na ano ko ang galing kasi in the book, you only get um, Alex's uh, perspective unless you see the uh, additional chapter from the special edition. But nakikita mo rin yung yung POV dito ni Henry. Uh-huh. Kasi dun sa book when the emails will leak. Yun yung yun yung trade. Um, it was Alex POV. Tapos si hindi si Henry yung pinakita. Dito pinakita si Henry. Henry. So nakita natin kung ano nangyayari sa kanya. Na oh my god, they have to do this and that. And yung speech ni Alex mas pinalalim nila yung explanation niya about it. Kasi medyo, although, for me, though, uh, na-miss ko yung America, he is my choice. Uh, medyo, na-miss ko yung partner. Pero ang dami niya rin naman sinabi na, I love him, gato, ganyan. So, that was, that was great. Na, nag-expect lang ako, I guess, kasi gusto-gusto ko yung line na yun. And, oh guys, if you can see, um, our hoodies, this is history, ha? Huh? Bet we could make some. Uh, that was supposedly in an email, pero sinabi niya out loud. And ako parang, oh my God! That was, Ang ganda nun. Um, yeah, so I've talked too much. So guys, what's your opinion about it? Anong, ano, um, favorite stuff? And yung mga na ano mo about, about the entire thing? Actually, ako yun. Yung sinabi ko, gusto, gusto ko yung sing na nakakayak talaga yung... Ay, yung to me, sa window. Sa window. Hindi ko na napigilan yun. Oo. Kali na pinipigil ko, pero hindi, wala na, hindi ko nakaya. Ako din eh, talaga wala na. Kaya pag sabi niya na, I will not be a prince of shame and secrets anymore. Oo, I wish everybody could experience that. Um, montage that they were running around and uh, they were uh, happy. Uh, uh, uh. I did not expect that. Tapos hindi ko siya ma-absorb because I was listening to to um, Alex's speech. Kasi inaantay ko yung America. He's my choice. Inaantay ko yung ganun yung love is in dominant. Yung, I was waiting for that. And then pinakita yung they were in the forest and they were uh-huh. kissing and they were running around. It just felt like you know um, parang why won't you let them be like that uh-uh. freely because why how can it not look beautiful para sa akin that was so beautiful and no makasaksi ka ng ganong klaseng love it's very rare you know especially these days um why would you stop something like that just because you think you know uh, your traditional way of thinking asian way of thinking uh, non acceptance of people's gender, why does it matter anymore? It shouldn't. Love is love. That's what it matters. Right now, especially yung world natin na sobrang daming chaos, come on, the only way that we will be able to fight and survive and have hope and wake up every day is love. So why would you stop anyone? If you can love um, anybody you you want to, bakit hindi lahat ng tao be able to do the same thing? Right? We've been reiterating this in Heartstopper, in Young Royals, and like, okay, um, straight people can love whoever, why can't everybody else? Yeah. Right? Hindi lang, come on, um, it should have been, it should always be. Love wins. The divide. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And um, yun yung inaano niya eh, na nire-reiterate niya rito na, come on, like, look at yung suffering. Would you like somebody else to suffer? Na because they cannot feel love any anyone they like, di ba? Like, look at Henry, yung suffering niya. Come on, we all ha- already are suffering with our responsibilities, yung, uh, our mental health and everything else. Why do we have to suffer then uh, about like loving people? Why why does that have to be? It should be something na ma- mag- doon tayo magpupul ng strength eh. Na doon ka kukuha ng light and, and, and hope and just to be able to go through everything in life, di ba? 
why would you stop something like that? Ang ganda-ganda ng montage na yun. As in, na, tas natatawa din ako yung, ano, <laughs> yung ang dami nilang um, intimate moments na it's, it's, it's actually amusing na they're very, so, very... So, what did you want to react for me? Yung girl na, Sarah, Sarah, okay. Sarah. <laughs> Hihikain na siya eh, what do you mean? Tapos parang naisip niya siguro na ako ba may kasalanan nito. Diba? Kasi eh, pinupush niya, diba? So, what happened? But, you know. Yung respect, your height. <laughs> Inano niya parang, kailangan ko pa rin itong respect. Kailangan ko pa rin itong respect. Kasi, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Kasi nga balik ka usap. Exactly, exactly. So, ang ganda nung, ang ganda, um, we wish it was longer. Could have been a series. Uh, but understandably so na it's not but uh we we love it you know what, what did you uh, any yung points no movie that stood out to you na like if you because this is something you'd like to watch again right um if you ever remember this what would the scene be you the scene for you so crazy Ah, that's a win. Sabi ko yung 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 ano yung nagkumoy na sila. Yeah, that was. Saka yung ano yung sawa niyo ano yung nanarmi na rin yun na. Yung parehong si Henry na hindi ka. Ay yeah. Yung nagkayo yung nagtay pa yung nagtay yung nagtay na sa niya. Yung effort niya na parang magin lucky lang din tayo. Oh, oh. Ibi sa sa book si nabi niya na nagtatago si Henry sa gilid kasi ayon ni Henry na ayon ni Omer pa sa tamil. Then Alex like, what do you mean? You can be a part of this family now. And the yung, yung awkward niya na naka was like, no, um, this is the family. He's like, 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 Ah, oh, yeah. Yung, 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 yung kinabahan. Yung advice news ko po. Kasi <laughs> <laughs> Alex, marat, can I leave? I'm losing my mind. I do not need this talk. Parang sana tinex mo oh. sa akin. Oh my God. In the book, she has, she has a presentation. Oh, oh meron siya ang PowerPoint. Oh, may PowerPoint siya. Kasi ganun siyang type ng mom. Mm-hmm. Na may PowerPoint presentation siya na parang it's okay to be, uh, you know, like this. But why does it have to be the Prince of England? <laughs> <laughs> Tapos si Alex, sorry, I'm, I'm, can I die now? Sobrang ano talaga. Uh, pero sinabi niya dito eh, na parang kung may time lang sana ako, gagawa ko ng PowerPoint presentation. Uh, pero, um, yeah. ang galing nung ano nun, ang galing natuwa ako kasi uh, nakuha nila yung essence nung, nung, nung oh. book. It, um, Have you seen yung maganda nila? Diba? Yeah, kasi yung usually yung... the problem with adaptations is that Come on, I've experienced a lot of it. Na parang oh my god, and daming na misal sa book. It doesn't uh, feel like the book anymore. And I know that a lot of people would be like, okay, then if you want the book, just read the book, and then there is gonna be a something different. But this one, though there have been a lot of changes, I still felt like it was the book. It still felt like the the one that I've read, you know. So. Hindi ako, it, it didn't feel like, oh my goodness, ang dami kong na, na, nawala. It still feel like the same thing. Uh, yung, and even more so, I think, yung, yung nakikita mo talaga. And uh, I have to ask you guys, because this is very, very important. A lot of people have been arguing online that si Taylor daw ay not the perfect Alex. What do you think? Perfect naman siya, wala um, naman ano. Ako ah, I've read the book. I think he's Alex embodiment. Like parang tumalon si Alex from the book and then this is this Pero is perfect it. siya for being Alex ah. Kasi ko na babasa ni Bro. Uh-huh. Perfect naman siya sa pinigin. Ano naman? Okay naman everything. How about the chemistry? Meron well, talaga. Palo palo. <laughs> Grabe no. Like <laughs> sobrang I um I don't know uh I mean with all that respect. Bakit dahil no? kasi Pero, sobrang Baka dahil hindi nila nakikita yung chemistry dahil ibang-iba yung ano nung dalawa. Probably because so, they've seen them in other uh, oh, oh, baka. Uh, things. Parang hindi pa sila sanay na these two people mm-hmm. get together. Um, I don't know if that sounds homophobic in a way, mm-hmm. but like, ako ah, um, sobrang off the charge. Yung pag ano pa lang, yung pag yung unang kita nila na how, how are you doing, uh-huh. that was... I I was losing my mind. It's just perfect. Oh, no, um, of the uh, even even yung lalo na nung tuloy tuloy yung padulo na yung, that was really amazing. And I've heard if it's not true, please let me know in the comments. Please don't bash. Um, yung love scene nila was the first one that they've done. Oh, 
Talaga? My goodness. That was... Imagine, yun ang unang-unang mo. Ay, yun ang unang-unang. Yun ang unang-unang pinilamig. Grabe yan. I know, right? Pero nga lang... And meron na dun eh. That was really well done. And to think na, like, people are saying uh, all these things that they can see chemistry. Like, have you seen that? Baka dahil hindi pa nila na natapos ang buong movie. It could be, or some people are just, you know, umpisa pa lang, uh, came uh-huh. in to hate on it. Uh, which, guys, come on, um, it was really, really difficult. Pero anda eh. Anda eh, Alex. And we have to applaud um, Nick. As Henry, oh my goodness! Guapo niya ha, magpagagal, may ganang guapo talaga. Ang galing kasi, nakikita mo si Alex na ringin na si Henry. Kasi ako, ang bias ko talaga. Si Alex. Si Alex. Si ZP, no? Yun talaga, si Alex talaga. From iba pa niyang movie. Tapos nga, parang nagiging bias ko na si ano. Si Henry. Oh my God. Ang galing kasi, nakikita mo si Alex na nai-inlove kay Henry. And ikaw din. Nai-inlove ka kay Henry, Henry dahil nakikita mo siya through Alex's eyes. Uh-huh. And looking at si Henry then, looking at Alex, ganun din yung ganun feeling din. mo. Ang galing nun. Ang galing nun kasi ang galing nung portrayal nun na how, how do you do that? How do you make me fall in love with the person you are falling in love with? Just by looking at you, falling in love with that. Diba? Like yung, yung logic na para oh, what, what, what? Pero ang galing eh. Yun yung nagustuhan ko sa kanila. And, Napaka-effortless nung yung sweet na scenes. Oh, yung yung laughter. Yung papakulikin ka nila. Oh, oh, Sobrang napaka- effort. Tapos ah, so effortless. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Even, alam mo na to, kayo nung sa plank, yung mag-aami na si Alex uh-huh. sa kanya, yung kinikiss lang siya, napaka-simple na parang, oh my goodness, ako parang, oh my God, Henry. Pero yung suffering niya rin nun. Ang galing nung, uh-huh. ang galing nung pinakita nila na na, ang saya-saya, and then he jumped, and he was just drowning. So, ako ba, habi ko ito na, uh, oh my god, hindi ba, hindi ba siya? That was supposed to happen at night. Ginawa ko talaga nilang daylight, no? Para kitang-kita mo yung masakit. And hindi namin, hindi mo makikita sa libro when you read it, na iniwan siya. Dito na rin ako mo na, nag-empake and Alex is sleeping there. And supposedly, ako sa bunk bed, tapos doon magkatabi sila. So, ako parang, ah, mas masakit. Mas masakit. Masakit siya pa my goodness, ang galing. Pero uh, bawin-bawin ka naman ng mga sakit. Bawin-bawin ka naman sa MD. Hindi, sa saya. Hindi na tuwa ako kasi sinabi mo na at one point, bakit parang masakit yung oh, ending right. nito? Oh. Kasi parang, And I could see her checking the timeline kung mm-hmm. pa-end na ba. Pa-end na? Kasi pinag-wait <laughs> She was checking every now and then holding the mouse. Just checking, um, is it ending? Is this gonna be how it ends? And then I was like, no, no, no. Kasi yung mga tarungan na kami sa mga ano. <laughs> Exactly, but, but I, I knew um, even yung sa extended version nung, nung book na it was, it's gonna be a happy ending. This is a happy ever after. And uh, yun, yun na yun yung ending na yung pagpasok ng bahay na dinala niya sa house niya kung saan siya lumaki si Henry and then sh- show him uh, his childhood. Gusto ko yung sa dulo, yung nagbike sila together. Uh-oh. It just felt like they were like 14, mm-hmm. 16 together. Parang even, may nalik, may nalik yung childhood na di, di ba na uh-huh. na even if they were together together when they were kids pinakita na okay free, this could have been yeah free, so at natuto ako doon na oh that was that was that was really really well done and um sobrang oh my I, I have a lot of words for this series and I know I'm gonna be screaming on on Twitter <laughs> about this and we cannot put this all in a, in a, this reaction video but um, the most important thing is that we really enjoyed it for me it's a 10 out of 10 probably 15 out of 10 pa the adaptation and you can say that I'm biased fine uh, but that's really how I feel about it uh, oh, oh okay oh yeah you talagang point by point my favorite part yeah we would be part we would be more than willing to do that, maybe a follow-up uh, for this video. But yeah, for now, uh, just rating it, it's a 15 out of 10 for me. How about you? 
Grabe. Akala ko, no, meron ako super hated character by the name of August. Now we hate Miguel as well. So, pero ang galing, ang galing talaga. And Bea, yung sister, yung princess. She's so awesome. And yung brother, of course. We're gonna uh, have to, yung, yung kanyang brother na lagi na lang stoic and galit. Sa kay Henry, like, peace. Philip, come on. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, guys. Uh, we really did enjoy um, this uh, series. And I just really have to announce this. Um, if you guys watch our reaction video right now, um, I'm planning to give away uh, several things. Uh, like, uh, I made uh, stickers for this. And I'm planning to mail out 10 pieces, 10 sets of it, which has this history ha, the first prints, um, and everything else. I'm gonna put it on the description so that you can see what the stickers look like. I'm gonna be giving away those. Um, if you can just comment that you've uh, seen this, and if you can share it and tag me on Twitter at angelexplorers underscore. Um, yeah, so that I would know that you guys have seen our reaction videos. I am willing to send out uh, this uh, souvenir for you guys. And thank you so much for watching our reaction videos. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. We truly did enjoy watching this uh, movie. And the um, part of the Yes, yes, yes. And I hope you liked our uh, hoodies as well. We, I really wanted, we could have worn like a t-shirt lang na white and red and blue. But we thought that, you know what, we like this. I like this quote, um, history, huh? Bet we could make some and I think we certainly did today. So yeah, um, don't forget to watch uh, Red, White, and Royal Blue over and over and over and over again until Matthew gives us that uh, extended version of the movie. And yeah, guys, uh, if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. And of course, turn on your notifications so that you would know when our next video is going to come out. For now, we wish you a very, very good night. And always remember, love wins.